Hey guys, Crew Blind, we're back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we're back with the last episode of Supergirl before the mid-season break. Last episode was... The crossover! Very true. X. Where, uh, you see, during that we had a lot of talk about, uh, good old Maggie and Alex, right? That was a big yeah. topic. Uh, Alex Whether had... she did the right thing or not. And then Alex had some stuff going on. And, uh, then they fought a bunch of stuff. And, um... Yeah, that's about it, right? There was some kind of irony about her needing to give up her heart. Whenever, oh, that Kara had to give up her, yeah, her Cara alien was, heart. <laughs> yeah, Kara was going to lose her heart, which was funny. Which, like an episode or two before, she had been cursing her human heart. So, But before that, we also had a lot of stuff with rain coming to become rain. Let it rain, evilness. Yep. And uh, that's the big point from last last episode of Supergirl, and we had a poll. All right, our poll for last week was about the crossover, and it was who do you ship the most? Oh, we did that one for Supergirl, <laughs> of course. We had Overgirl and Dark Era, which are the bad guys of it. We had Mick and Killer Frost, and we had Alex and Sarah. Totally Mick and Killer Frost. Those were my number one. Mick and Killer Frost got 28%. What? people while overgirl and dark arrow got only 19 percent giving alex and sarah a 51 percent wow which which i mean come on we were really happy and shoot think of all the crossovers they'd be doing lots of ins and outs mm -hmm. harry says i literally screamed at the tv when alex corrected sarah saying girlfriend and sarah's face was like Oh, really? <laughs> Andrew says, definitely Alex and Sarah. Two badass ladies with no fear uh, to kick ass. Yes, please. No one? No one said anything about Mick and Snow? Hang on, I'm just going down. Sam says, I've always liked Stephen Amell and Melissa Benoist's uh, chemistry. I think the bad ones made a fantastic couple, but the good two... Would... Well, Deathstroke the T Terminator said, Melissa's chemistry with Stephen and Grant is better than their respective partners. They think Melissa has better chemistry than, like, Felicity and Iris do with... Which Melissa, though? Like, Melissa in general? Even as a sweetheart Supergirl? Or whenever she was the over... No, they're just saying that their chemistry together in general. Not necessarily Overgirl and Dark Era. Just Melissa. Melissa and Grant's chemistry works really well compared to Grant's and Iris's is what they're saying. I understand that, then. Um... Alex Too Cool says Mick and Frost because Caitlin would hate it so much it would be hilarious. It would be freaking hilarious. Jordan says I ship Snowberry more. How can you? Snowberry. How can and how can you people not ship Overgirl and Dark Arrow though? Snowberry was like Caitlin Snow and Berry. Irvish says no question about it. Sex. Sarah, Alex, all the way. <laughs> It's already been done. Uh, no, he's saying that's her ship name, though. Did you get that? Oh, Sarah plus shoot. Alex. Sex. X. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little slow on that. That's hilarious. Tin says, I don't know, but something about Dark Arrow and Overgirl was hot. I know, right? Flashback to 07 says, I just hope the Wave Rider can hop Earths as well. And then Daxel says, why can I only vote for one? All of them at the same <laughs> time, one big orgy of love. I oh ship them all. <laughs> so, there we go. Also, yeah. I wanted to cover another poll that we had just because uh, we had two um, at the end of the crossover and we already discussed it with me and Eric and Arrow and this was which crossovers have you really liked? Vote for the ones you've liked, like that you've actually enjoyed. So, we had uh, at the bottom of the list is Legends of Today, which was the Hawk and Vandal Savage crossover no, episode. Yeah. It was good. And then we had World's Finest, which was the Flash accidentally coming to Supergirl's world. Next was Invasion, which was last year's big crossover. With Dominators. Which was like a four-episode part of the thingy, but it also kind of didn't work so well had with the, the Supergirl. Episode. And it had a hundred episode, which was very Arrow-like, and so it was, eh. It was okay. It was, it was fun, but it wasn't, as, it wasn't like this last one. Then is Duet... The musical between Flash and Supergirl. Which was awesome. Which was very enjoyable. We got to hear Martin Stein sing. Yep. Won't hear that anymore. Um, and then we... Ow! 
Then we had Arrow versus Flash as the second place, leaving Crisis on Earth X as the number one answer that most people enjoyed. I'm assuming it had all the votes. And then everything else kind of got some more votes. But uh, that's good. Arrow vs. Flash, the original crossover that brought like all this stuff together. Yeah, the training. Very good. Um, which of these did you enjoy, Melanie? Um, did you like all of them? Did you like some of them? Definitely the duet. Duet. Duets in my... The wonderful like music and the chemistry and their voices. It was just so well done. And it was just such a fun episode. Especially mm -hmm. since they brought in one of my favorite characters, Blaine, from... Uh, Ah, Glee. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. But definitely, um, what's this one called? Earth X. Yeah. Earth X was by far my favorite. Yeah, so. Earth X was very good. I enjoyed the duet one a lot. Also, the Arrow vs. Flash. Like, those are probably my top three. I would say The Legends of Today, Invasion, World's Finest were all fun. But they probably wouldn't be my top three. Yeah. But... I mean, great music in all of them, <laughs> which always Oh, Blake Neely does a great job with music oh and stuff gosh, like that. Oh my gosh, she so. does a fantastic job. But anyway, that is all. I'm taking my shoes off. <laughs> that is all for the poll right now. We will have another poll at the end of this episode, as well as doing our Q and A's. Make sure you guys every week, which is going to be a few breaks now, but make sure you guys go to hashtag Supergirl Q and A. Leave your guys' questions. We will answer those at the end of the episode. Ready? But now we got to watch the episode. Okay. Rain time. Is this rain? Oh, what's going on? Oh, snap. That's rain. We're screwed. <laughs> Does she know about their relationship? You said this to my wife last time, remember? No! Does Emra know about Kara? And... Oh, I don't know that. Okay, come and get your eyes You're uh, silly, yeah, Melanie. Oh, okay. Let me see who's there. Oh, yeah. Hey, is everything okay? Where's your mom? Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm late. I know it's been a really long day, but I got the cookies. No worries. Come in. <laughs> okay. Shopping, I got word. Conference call with some very unpleasant men who were yelling at me in German, and then Ruby told me about the cookies. I forgot the Italian bakery that I really liked. It was closed, so you know you get these. Okay. You, so, you, know, you get these. Take a break and maybe have still a drink or two. Right? Yeah. Did I ever tell you that I work for Supergirl sometimes? Okay, I have four questions. <laughs> hey, uh, let me help them with this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> She's such a great okay, one. One, has Supergirl ever flown you anywhere? And two, if so, how was it? And three? Yes. Yes, yes she, she has flown me. I mean, several times. And actually, last year she caught me when I jumped out of a skyscraper during a shootout. Okay, I have more questions. <laughs> I love it. Are She's you so okay. Tired. I think you look a little pale. I'm fine. I'm just tired. Leave rain to destroy all mm. of those people. The laser shot in the ground. What happened? Looks like someone took a flamethrower to learn swaths of the property. Any chance it was a brush fire? Hey, she's back. So. But why call us for arson after the fact? The fire's already out. There's something you should see. Where? Bird's eye view. Go up. Ooh, what's it? I bet it's a super. As. I bet it's a super. Uh, the, the, the hope. I bet it's her symbol. Her symbol or rain symbol? Rain symbol. Oh. Ooh. Oh man, that was an intro. <laughs> that long for the Supergirl Ooh. logo. Damn. That music too. Hey. I can dance. The correctional facility. Who's in jail? Luther. No. -uh. Lex or uh, uh, Lillian? Is that her Lil name? Right, Mama Luther. Uh huh. Oh, the cult leader. Oh. Okay. How does he know so much? It's insane. That looks fresh. Ooh. Oh. Fresh as hell. <laughs> uh. At least you found the source. Guardian, you need it. What? Dude, who's that dude? Oh, he has he a portal has of shield! Shit! Oh, she has to be so turned on right now. Is that what they're calling the 1 7 now? Whoa! Whoa! What? How are they just flying in the air like that? What was her cape? What is going dude, on? Dude, it's like, oh it's my like gosh, look! Flashes! It was like a costume. Look at that. Oh, 
Is that rain? Nah. They have a costume in that bunker thing, the Fortress of Destitute or whatever they call it. It's like a bat! It's Batman! So is she just getting rid of the bad stuff? That'd be cool! Oh my gosh, what Ooh. is it? It had to been rain, right? Like it had to been rain, right? I don't know what else it could be, like anyway. It's just Jim anything of Batman. <laughs> Whoa. She got some good evil eyes. She did the same thing when she looked at the one seven gang stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was her. Well, you gotta go. Christmas party. Oh. Oh. Whoa, she's got laser vision. Yeah. Like everything the crypto. That's how she's been has. doing all this stuff. Shoes. Those aren't like super She's wearing wedges. a mask too. Um, lead. She's so much stealthier. Uh, is she gonna come back? What? Well, that's comforting. What's that mean? So she's gonna hunt her? I don't know. Or... I don't know what their way means. Is she gonna go kill people? Oh, she's gonna put Supergirl signs all over. Well, not Supergirl signs. You know. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Like a luchador. It's awesome. We've been waiting all season Shit. for this. <laughs> nah, dude, watch out. They're gonna crash into your belly. Run. I told you. Ooh. Ooh, that looks decent. That's kind of cool. I like how the music's still going. <laughs> Best fight ever. <laughs> mm. Wow, she's taking a beating. Good, there we go. Turn it back around. Be Kryptonian. But don't kill her. No, oh, she can't kill She's her. She's a mom. Oh, and the Ooh, ice sculpture. Make it snow. Is she going to find out who it is this episode? I don't I know. Hope not. I know she's going to beat her now, right? Dang, back up. Oh, I'm up and away. Oh, no, the boat. Ew, is it going to sink? This is where Edge was left. I don't think it's the same. That's kind of a way. weird... Fast, slow fall. Oh no. What's she doing? Don't let her touch the boat. It? Don't rock the boat. Don't <laughs> rock, rock the boat, the boat baby. baby. Don't tip the boat over. Ah! It's Supergirl. It's not gonna do anything. Oh! oh wow. That could have been something important in there. Or human trafficking. Oh, shut up, Harry. What about human trafficking? <laughs> all, all those poor girls. Jeez. Oh my god. They're destroying the city. Not the present. Damn, what are they doing there? How did, how did he get there? He's everywhere. Oh, Lena's there. If she takes off the mask now, Lena finds out who it is and Kara finds out who it is. Oh, at the same time. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh! Jeez. How did she learn how to fight so quick? It's programmed into her DNA. The, oh! Holy crap! The what kids. was that? Oh, parking yes. meter. meter. <laughs> nah, it's rebarbing concrete. Whoa, wait. How's she bleeding? How's she bleeding? I have no idea. I have no idea. She can't be bleeding. Kara. If she's weak, then Rain has to be weak right now, too, right? I don't know. Unless. Oh. Dude, she. It's like she's harder than a Kryptonian. Okay. We need Superman. Maybe not. Holy <laughs> crap. Uh, Proves you wrong. You don't need saying, a man. She needs, she needs, they need two Kryptonians to take on this. It's a devil. Jeez. Like, how is she? I don't get how she's I don't know. Her. Wow. That's cool, though. <laughs> a flaming door. 
Oh! Oh! Where are the people behind? Damn. Oh! Shoot! Don't be human, be alien. Holy crap, look at how beat up she is. You don't scare me. Can she not fly right now or something? And I will play. Car, we done. Come on, car, we done. What the heck? What? The, what? The... Come on, car, we done. Ah. Uh. Okay, you doing that? Man, and her symbol's like off of her chest. Do you need kryptonite in order to intubate her? Cause that's a lot of strong muscle I mean, there. I don't think it matters right now. She seems to be human enough. Okay. Uh, what's she doing? It's the Blair Witch thing. Huh? Uh. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. They did not. They did not just leave us hanging like that! What the crap? What kind of ending is that? Like, they may as well put, To be continued. I mean, that's what every episode is. <laughs> not like I mean, that! She was in the middle of turning around. <laughs> like, her hands were starting to clench. <laughs> yeah, but is mom gone? I don't know. That's why I'm pissed off. <laughs> what if she kills her? Shut up, Erin! On that, though, remember last last time whenever she was going to get, find out who she was and stuff, right? And meet her mom? And I was like, man, what if that's the last time her and Ruby see each other? Shut up, Aaron. And but I believe I slapped you. But it wasn't. It wasn't. They got to see each other again, and they had a nice, heart warm, like, our best Christmas ever I conversation. I know. I'm, I'm about ready to cry because I'm like, which one of them is going to die? Yeah, it was probably going to be the girl. <laughs> oh, shut up, Aaron. I'll kill you before she dies. <laughs> you got, like, five weeks. <laughs> you something. better get planning. <laughs> yeah, a month, something like that. Uh, we won't have Supergirl again until, like, January... Uh, 15th or something like that, which would be on a Monday. But for those of you that don't know, too, before we get into the, too much of the discussion, they're going to be having a weird thing where it's like Black Lightning's coming back, which is going to be taking Legends Tomorrow's spot on uh, Tuesdays on the CW. So Supergirl will be airing for like four weeks, and then they're going to stop it, and then they're going to air Legends Tomorrow for like the rest of its season, its season, which is like nine episodes. And then they're going to go back to Supergirl and air like the rest of Supergirl. So we'll have like... Four more episodes of Supergirl. And just interwoven. <laughs> of whatever's happening. And then we're going to cut to Legends and not know what happens to Supergirl for like two months. But then Alex will be on Legends with Sarah and it'll be okay because we'll still have a little bit of Supergirl. If, if they planned it and have some tie-ins with Legends, that could be cool. That but be. I'm going to say they probably don't. And it's Shut probably going to be... We have a month now until the next Supergirl and then we're going to have like two months until the next Supergirl after that. Once we get through that that month, so like, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> but you know, this I don't know. This girl might not be too bad. Which one? Rain. Oh. She just seems like a very more aggressive Supergirl. Yeah, I kind of wish that they would have let her keep doing what she was doing. She's getting rid of all the bad things. Well, like she kept giving this look, like she looked at the whole thing about the Seventeen Gang and being killers and hurting people and stuff, and then she went and killed like all the Seventeen Gang people. Yeah. And then she was looking at Edge and how he's a bad guy and she doesn't deserve to live because he's so bad and he's and bad. And tried to go kill him. And she went to go kill him, you know? Like, she was just kind of killing bad people. Now, yeah. she was killing bad people, not putting them in jail. But, yeah. I mean, we all know that they break out and look at Gotham. Ah, uh, break out. No, her outfit and stuff, whenever she was flying around, like, I thought it was like, dude, it's like soup, it's like Batgirl or how something, you know? How big that cape was. I was like, yeah. how maybe, maybe Maggie's back and she's a Batgirl. <laughs> But it was just weird, and like, well, the red were, vision, and everything too. Well, they're just people. Just red vision is what made me think it wasn't her, it wasn't bad girl. That made me think it was like the heat vision thing. Oh, but I, there were people just floating up in the air, and I'm like, maybe they're getting grabbed by a grappling hook, <laughs> and like, she's just fighting people on the ground. Like, I was thinking I anti gravity know. ray, but okay. <laughs> no, I don't know what it was. I hadn't been just picking them up, and they just, ah, I don't know. It was weird. Like super fast. Well. I was along the lines of Batgirl too, but I was thinking like you know echolocation, maybe that's the red vision, and but not you. anyway. Nope. So we've already had the mark of the beast, and I wonder if we're doing the work of the beast with the death already coming. Like, are we in the rain already? Wow. 
Are we going into rain? I don't know. I don't know. I Will don't Morgan know. Edge help Supergirl because of a greater evil to him? Doesn't rain? sound like it. Well, I cannot say it was not Supergirl. We didn't know who it was or what it was, but he did see Supergirl just get defeated. That's and true. if he's like, well, Supergirl wasn't trying to kill me. That was trying to kill me. We need to stop that. Whenever she got launched from the building, did she have um, Rain's symbol on her? After no, she had hit her with she had hit her with the heat vision, and it just burned it off. Oh, okay. So she landed there, beaten up and bruised and everything, which was crazy. I don't know if it's just because of Kryptonians hitting each other so much, but I felt like even even back in like season one and stuff, given it was a different uh, channel that ran it, but even back then, fighting Kryptonians or fighting Clark. When she fought Superman, uh, which was last season, right? Yeah, he got mind controlled yeah, again. Went, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the end of every season he gets mind controlled. So we'll see what happens this season. I hope he shows up. But um, the like, I never felt like they punched each other so much that they bled. You yeah, know, I don't remember. like maybe they got knocked out, but this time like she was bleeding and she was bruised, and it was just from hitting each other. It wasn't even really from, like, the heat vision stuff hitting. And it like, wasn't because kryptonite was around or anything. So well, was, I didn't know if, like, her suit could have been kryptonite lined or something. And that's why she could finally, like, I mean, she's her. kryptonian as well. It shouldn't be that way. Well. You know? Wasn't there... Didn't someone have kryptonite lined suit? Lex like, Luthor? Well, no. I mean, like, a kryptonian. <laughs> Batman? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. I don't have any Kryptonian line suits. I'm sorry. Kryptonite line suit, but anyway. Nope. I don't have any Kryptonian ones either. Like they just took their skin. <laughs> like Superman, Superman wears a Kryptonian suit. Is your skin comfortable? Um, they said about darkness and teeth. I wonder if she's going to get deformed and have like crazy teeth. I know. Well, what? Um, darkness comes out of her Lilith. Huh. Her Lilith of Darkness? I thought it was... I don't know. I don't know. I thought Lilith was her name. I don't know. I don't know. I was wondering if it meant vagina. What? <laughs> you can cut that out. I don't remember them saying about a Lilith of Darkness. Well, like, you give birth to darkness, I just, and then I remember them you destroy saying... things with their teeth. No, I remember them saying something about, like, her darkness and her teeth and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, darkness, she's dark, she's bad teeth. Like, she's gonna have scary teeth? Or is that just a way of being saying that she's gonna be vicious? <laughs> I don't Maybe. Know. I haven't quoted Lilith of Darkness and Teeth to Destroy All. Anyway. Huh, I, I like how it's prophesized as a she. Like, in their book, <laughs> they have her as a she. Book. She will reign. She will kill. She. You're going, she. Is that what doing <laughs> <laughs> milk them milk them all right and they want and they need Kara to smite her well because a lot of people view her and like superman as gods you know that's what they had a cult like yeah. supergirl was a god and to them well, so like for okay. a devil the god should smite the devil well my thing is is that does smite mean kill or just like, smite her and stop her. And you could be smitten. All right, so, Legend. <laughs> the Legion of Heroes. Legion, Legion of Superheroes, that's cool. That would be the Legion ring that we had, right? The flight ring? Yeah. That was from the Legion, right? So that could be, uh, that could be cool. Yeah, I wonder who Emra is. I'm still wondering what or who she is. I don't even care who she is. I want to know who else is inside the the uh the ship because there were like six mm -hmm. tubes in there remember yeah get those six tubes out get a legion of superheroes to help fight this evil Ooh, they could have some really cool ones in there yeah i'm not As, i mean we're talking about 3100 we won't know who like, any let's of say them they, are let's say they had six tubes right yeah and they've opened two that means we have four tubes open well who else immortal and we have four weeks in january so each each episode has a new person show up <laughs> to help us battle rain like, oh my god, it's this one. Oh my god, it's that one. Oh, it's this one. We're not going to know who they are. They're from the 31st century. So? Sherlock Holmes is in the 21st century. We are in the... No, 22nd. Okay. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock Holmes in Emma the 22nd century. It's so freaking beautiful. Are That's because she's a Greek goddess. I feel so 
bad for Kara. I wish she was a redhead. Like, I wish that she could, like, just put this all behind her. But I understand, like, that would just suck. It's all going on in front of her. Well, the hardest thing about it, too, is that you have, you have Kara, who has been dealing with the loss of her loved one for six months, thinking that he's gone and could be dead or worse. And then you know? he comes back and he's and freaking he, married! And then he comes back, but he comes back as being around for 1,207 years, you know? Like, they went to sleep for 1,200 years or whatever it was. They were in the crust. But he had seven years of being in the future where he also went through the same thing she did and then eventually gave up on being able to be with her and then met someone else, you know? Yeah. So, like, he's gone through everything she's gone through and he's put it behind him to the point where, like, you're, he was able to you're, move on. Yeah, I've moved on, and you're not, you know, you're you don't, you're not the same to me, you know. If ever he was gonna revert, I feel like it would be because she was about to die right in front of him. And it seemed like he was worried, from a friend kind of standpoint, you know, but not from like she's the love of my life standpoint. So it's just, it sucks because like Car is in a very difficult situation where he's been he's been split from her for like. Ten times longer yeah. than what she has, you know? But the thing that sucks even more, like, like, Monel's a Daxamite. So, in the future, they have all these other aliens on the planet, like, with each other and fighting each other and whatnot. And he was able to meet his match. Like, he could do things with her and not kill his wife, you know? Like, or they have a way versus... It's very hard to do right something now, and not want to kill your wife. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> and right now, Kara is in this situation where she knows of no other Daxamites on this planet, any other Kryptonites, uh, Kryptonians, sorry. So are you saying or, that Kara can't bang anybody without killing them? Is yeah. That, is that what you're saying? Kind of. So I'm like, man, I'm going to bang Supergirl. But you Maybe bang, you have to make some die. Kryptonite condoms or something. <laughs> what? No, just... Be fine. What's wrong? But I mean, like, still, like, it would just be hard to have that type of relationship. Superman can be with Lois Lane. That's just a <laughs> that's just a human woman. Flash can be with Iris. Poor Iris, that cannot last long. What do you mean he's he can vibrate? <laughs> I got a lot of different frequencies. <laughs> anyway, who's not lasting long in that situation? Um... <laughs> But no, like, she could be with anybody. It's just that she, that's who she was with. And the worst part of the situation really is just that she hasn't had the time that he's already had. He's already gone through all this. So he's trying to be understanding, but it's, it's very hard for her because she, the thing that she said I liked was that looking at, it's worse, and that's looking at you and seeing there's no love in your eyes for me. Yeah. That, that's just, that's the hardest part of it, I think. Yes, it is. And we've talked about that several weeks. All right. We also had a mention of Central City over here on Earth. Whatever we're on. 35 or something. 37, 39. I don't know. Yeah. So we had a mention of Central City, which is cool. Days away. Days drive away. Yeah, was that between National City and Central City? I'm guessing. That's what... Um, their best Christmas ever. And we had mention of the most important thing in this. Star Wars. Yeah, Life Day. <laughs> the Life Day, and they talk about Empire Strikes Back, and that was cool. Very fun. I enjoyed that. Some fun little things in there. Um, I did like the history that they did give about uh, Rao. And the whole, it started out with the Duru, and then the son of the Duru was Rao. And then, so I liked some of that history being tossed in there to kind of give the development of Rain some more depth, I guess. So then we know where it's coming from. Old religion. <laughs> Very cool. Speaking of which, celebrating the greenness of your tree. <laughs> Life day. <laughs> Happy holidays. Hopefully you guys have a good Christmas because we won't be back on this until January. So it'll be past Christmas and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Happy holidays. All right. I'm going to move on to our last Q&A of Supergirl for the year. Right? Anything else you had or was that everything that you've? Uh-huh, that's it. That's it? Okay. All right. We're going to move on to <laughs> Q&As. Uh, this is our hashtag Supergirl Q&A that we do through our Twitter, at BlindWaveProd. 
Honorary Humble Baller Boy says, what did John say Jingle Bell Rock was called? Uh, well, he didn't say he didn't say Jingle Bell Rock at all. He said that my dad will know Hall and Oates, which is an old band that sang Jingle Bell Rock. So they were listening to the uh, Hall and Oates probably Christmas album, I would assume, that had Jingle Bell Rock on it. Honorary Humble Baller Boy says, how do you feel about Emra's attempt to make Kara feel better? I liked it. Um, it almost made it kind of feel like it made it worse <laughs> that it took him so long to finally get over Kara and like she was there helping him all the way and ended up falling in love with me. I'm sorry, but it just happened. <laughs> like, you know, one of those situations like I'm comforting you, but I'm rubbing it in your face and at the same time. I didn't feel like she was rubbing in her face. I think I think she was trying to give her comfort that Hey, he didn't just move on immediately. I mean, there's the time travel element there that's kind of screwy with things. But, like, it took him years before he moved on from you. And I think it was trying to be more like, like, ho hopefully you can at least take comfort knowing that it took him a long time to move on from you. And eventually he just, he, he gave up thinking he would never see you again. It's still... It, it's the idea of, like, if, if I died and was on a desert island, hmm. right... I didn't die, but a plane crashed and I was on a deserted island for like 10 years. And then I come back. Like the only reason I held out was because of you and my kids and stuff. And I used that to help make me survive and get back to you. And I come back to you and the kids are 10 years older and you found someone else. And so, now you don't... You like don't... Sarah Taren, Cruddy, and Shane. Whatever her More like was. Castaway with Tom Hanks. I don't remember anything other than Wilson. Okay, that's you only watched the trailer. No, I've watched. <laughs> <the movie. laughs> no, like I watched the whole two hours of hanging out he's, on the island. He's on that island for like all of it. At least like four or five years. I think that he's on there. Like he fucking hatched away like all the trees on that island and stuff, and just hacked him up. But no, like he comes back and he goes back home, and his wife is with someone else and has moved on thinking that he was just dead. Everyone just thought he was dead, and he has nothing when he gets back. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember. Like, it's the same idea of that. Like, you've been, like, I would have been, like, clinging to the idea of I got to get back to Melanie and my kids and stuff, and I love them, and they love me, and da-da-da, and I come back, and now I don't have that, and you've moved on thinking I was dead. Okay, so then, in that situation, my current husband comes to you and says... I'm sorry. I mean, it took her a long time to move on. It took her years, but I was with her all the way. And I'm sorry, man, but we are living a very happy life. And leaves. <laughs> Did that make you feel no, better? We're bringing you any left. solace. <laughs> no, I would have had to leave. She didn't leave. But still, it's not like... I mean, it would be worse if you came to me and was like, Yeah, plane crashed. We've been banging since a week after you died. <laughs> That would be worse. Okay. I would much rather have someone come to me and be like, yeah, you've been gone for four years. We got married last year. I'm sorry. I, you know, she did, she thought she was never going to see you again. It's still, like, it's not... It's not the perfect making situation. Making you feel happy for them. Like, it was not the right time, I guess. Not the right time or the right things to really say. I feel like it's at least good to know that he didn't just... Well, I'm in a different place. That one. <laughs> <laughs> this is good to know. I'll take window four. Jeffrey says, "Was Monel always at the bottom of the ocean?" Um, yes, he's been there for like I think they said was it twelve hundred years, twelve thousand years. They've been down there for a long time, and they put themselves in cryostasis in the attempts to make it back to the thirty-first century, and then got interrupted by that missile that they fired. So, in theory, when Monel was on Earth. Monel was in the earth. Toast Knight says, what are the odds that Ruby will have to call back to the Stronger Together to get Rain to shift back to her mom at some point? I mean, it was a good moment with them talking about Christmas and the best Christmas they've ever had together and here's a little present for you and it means Stronger Together, which we are Stronger Together. Um, it'd be good if there was like a callback to that, I think. That Maybe way she brings her back by making a snowball and having a snowball fight with Rain. <laughs> Don't make it rain. Make it snow. It'll save the day. I don't think rain's going to come back from a snowball fight, but it well, could be nice. Well, she got developed by saying, make it rain. No, I think there was more to it than it that. Was, oh, sorry. Let it rain. No, I think there was more to it than that. 
<laughs> I don't. I just. I, don't, I think she it was like a long. She could come back by snowball in her face. It'll be shocking. Enough. Um, speaking, I wish James used more than the shield this episode. Awesome, that was an awesome fight. Uh, yeah, the fight between Rain and Supergirl, I'm assuming you're talking about, was really good. I liked it. Yes. Uh, especially the street part. Yeah, the I like the, legit. the music still going on. The Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> oh, when they were fighting in a little Christmas yeah. party and stuff, that was good. And that's the... We don't see James with his shield very much. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed... The, I, that caught me off guard. I didn't expect him to have his shield just fucking... <laughs> Guardian where'd he have it? Off guard. Where'd it come from? Like, I don't know where that was. That was cool, though. No, yeah. It had to have been, like, very small in his sleeve this time. Yeah, I mean... Ryan's I, been doing a good job. I was excited about the little, like, scene with him in the crossover. Like, yeah, we haven't seen the Guardian in forever. Yeah, but... Toast Knight says, While Kara was getting destroyed, where was John? Where was mon -El? Why is Alice the only person who showed up and it was after the fight? We had two Legion members and Manhunter just chilling out while Kara was getting obliterated. I'm very mad. I, I say about this a lot. It's like, it is Supergirl's show, but when you have John Jones and you have like Monel there, like Guardian was there, but like I don't he wasn't gonna do anything, no, you know? But like, Emra, who knows what power she actually has. Yeah. When Supergirl wasn't there and then the Guardian and Monel held off Parasite for a while, like that was cool and I liked it. They could have just like they having having just Monel be there a little bit to help out, I don't think that he would have been survive, but not against it. But have three of them. Have team them actually up. die. That would actually be very beneficial to Kara. Have a team up and stuff. But I mean I'm sure it's something when they're flying all around. Monel can't keep up with the flight. John Jones should be able to, but maybe that's something we'll have and we'll cover later on at some point. I don't know. I don't know why. Andrew says, so we got some Lena and Jimmy action finally. Yay. I bet Eric said smash a lot. How do you guys feel about Supergirl catching a full beatdown, Doomsday style, with Superman? And if Monel is from the future, why didn't he know this would happen? I mean, Kara obviously must have not been in the future. So he must know her history because they looked her up and talked about her a lot, right? So he's got to know something about it. Yeah, true. But didn't Emra say she will be okay or something like that? Well, during the fight or right before the fight? Like she had such confidence whenever she said, don't yeah, worry, she will be okay. Maybe they're also trying not to mess with time too much and let it take its course. Well, I think that's another reason why they cryoed because they didn't want to affect anything. Yeah, because he could have been like, hey, I'm going to wake up here when Car is going to be around, you know? Um, Melanie also loved the Lena and Jimmy stuff. Yes, yes. And the beatdown caught me off guard because I was just like, why is she bleeding? But I mean, if, I mean, yeah, I don't know. She must be like, I don't know how strong Rain is. She must be stronger than Supergirl the way that she beat her down. I don't know. I don't know. Shire folks says, I guess the lesson for Kara will be how her humanity doesn't make her weak, but rather it makes her, sh it gives her strength. Which has a good point. Is Was this fight Kara being alien? And if so, is this a, a, a sign that you can't beat Rain as an alien? You can't beat her as Supergirl. You have to beat her from a humanity standpoint. Oh, so we're going to have to go back to the human heart and bring in the daughter. To prove yeah. human heart. Curse my human Love. heart. We gotta take your heart. You know, <laughs> could there be so a thing about heart. heart in this? Could that be? We don't need fire. We don't need water. We don't need I earth. I believe I predicted this like the very first Air. episode. That it's all gonna be about human heart. We need heart. And then we have Captain Planet. Xavier said, have you guys noticed that our heroes are hammered by their evil clones? Dark Archer, Reverse Flash, and Rain. For the first time they meet... And it is always around Christmas. Yep, that's usually when the break happens and we always have some crazy stuff happening. So, that would make sense. Yeah, we have to wait four weeks to see what she turned around and did. Nick says, what is your favorite Christmas song? Ooh. <laughs> Aw, Aaron. Christmas song. Yep, I know mine. What's your favorite Christmas song? Text Me Merry Christmas by Kristen Bell and Straight oh, No Chaser. Okay. Text me Merry Christmas. That's Let true. Me know you I'm care. very big. Look it up on YouTube. It's really good. It's a modern song too. It's not like a traditional old school like. What I'm gonna say. Churchy stuff. Yeah, I like old hymns, like not praise and worship, but like old hymns. Eventually, I'll be one of those. I'll be an old hymn. 
Which one's your favorite? Gotta tell favorite. favorite song. <laughs> Woman. Favorite song. <laughs> favorite song. Um, I really like Hark the Herald. Hark the Herald. What is Harking the Herald? What does that do? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what happens? What, you don't know what Harking the Herald it's is? It's like hollering out, like, you know. I used to work with a Herald. A Herald. <laughs> it's like a hear ye, hear ye. I would never hark them, though. <laughs> Hear ye, hear ye? So it's like getting his attention. Right? Mm -hmm. Hark! It's like a, it's like a sea lion. Next. Wanky says, <laughs> At this point is a tradition for our heroes to be beaten half to death by a badass villain. First Ollie, when he got stabbed and kicked off a cliff. Then Barry, when Zoom savagely paralyzed him. And now it seems to be Kara's turn. Oh. Everyone has to hit a low at some point, and it's usually around season three. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Three is my favorite number. Yeah, one of mine too. Uh, Whisper, the kryptonite arrow would be handy in this episode. Get rain. Yeah. Um, Corey says, do you think they are setting up for Alex to adopt Ruby? <coughs> It would make so sense, sad. especially if Rain dies or cannot be brought back to the light. <sighs> so they have no choice. They gotta kill her. She has no mommy. I don't like it. All she has is a necklace to remind her of her mommy and the last time they talked about awesome Christmas time. But Supergirl's the one that's gonna kill her. She's not gonna want that necklace. That's gonna be very bad. Do you keep the last present you ever got from your mommy, even though it's a symbol of the person that killed her? Oh my gosh. This is horrible. I'm starting to hate this show. It'd be like, it'd be like Leon loves Blind Wave, and you give him like a little like, like some kind of cool necklace that has a Blind Wave logo on it, and he's like, oh, I love it. But then I kill you, so now he has the thing that resembles like my logo of Blind Wave, but I killed you. So does he keep it, even though it's the last thing he got from you? I don't know why I'm killing you. It's possible, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like threat number four in this whole episode between us. Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> Whisper. Obviously, they can't kill Supergirl in Supergirl. Maybe she's knocked out for a couple episodes. Like a coma? <laughs> Maybe. She might be knocked Maybe out she'll for be, like four weeks. Dude, what if she's in a coma for four weeks and we come back and National City is just destroyed? Like apocalypse. Nah, Superman be it. Are yeah, you... maybe he'll show up. I thought you were going to throw up. <laughs> Whisper, the jump scare at the end totally got me. I hope Melanie's okay. <laughs> I think Melanie was more mad. Yeah, I was really upset. <laughs> Corey says, looks like it might take Kara and the Legion of Superheroes to take down Rain. And maybe Clark and Manhunter as well. Ooh, we're just making this team even bigger. I like it. Here we go. Speaking of bigger... Do you think Lena and Jimmy would last? <laughs> How big is Jimmy? <laughs> they do make a cute couple. They do. They're like a power couple. This is I what Melanie it. was wanting. Melanie was like, players, players, players. Yes! Yes! Oh! Someone yes. has to end up with Jimmy. <laughs> well, Kara had him. Yeah, that didn't work. Just, they just it gave just, it up. It just didn't work. But man, yeah, I love Lena. I love the actress that plays Lena. So, like, ah, it's just so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, sorry. Magnus says, seriously, Supergirl girl. Magnus says, seriously, Supergirl couldn't see through that thin rubber mask and notice it was Sam? I know I have to suspend belief, but come on. <laughs> well, I think if she used her x-ray vision, she'd just see the bones, not the facial structure of Sam. Can't they change on how many layers of stuff they look through? I mean, you can, but I don't think... I doubt that she goes around the street looking at people's naked bodies, you know? <laughs> like... That'd be awesome. <laughs> Corey says, do you think they could be setting up for a Death of Supergirl storyline? Similar to Death of Superman, with Rain killing Kara, and we leave this season with Kara thought to be dead. Hmm... Does the death of Supergirl stop Rain? Well, Rain would continue to destroy all the bad. She's just destroying Kara because Kara was standing in her way of destroying the bad. 
Could be interesting. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Matt says, with a threat like this, do you think we're going to see Superman? Realistically, I would think he would come to see Kara. I agree with that. I mean, he in what was it, first season and second season? Like, they would message and stuff. First season, I know they would. They would message all the time. Yeah. Right? And be like, hey, how's it going? Good. Hope you're having fun. Hey, yeah, being a superhero is awesome. Yeah, even, like, Jimmy would yeah. give little drops of, yeah, my cousin wanted, your cousin wanted me to check up on you. Yeah. Like, if you ever need help, let me know, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I hope... We've had him at least, well, kind of, once a season, you know? Uh, the beginning of Supergirl season two, he was there. Yeah. Helping. And at the end, he was there. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little glimpse of him walking away with all the other people. No, that's the end of people. season one. He did that. I thought that's what at he the said, end of season, season one. Well, yeah, that. There was, I said the end of season two, I think. I might oh, say the end sorry. of season one, but I meant two, whenever the Daxmites also took control of him and he had a battle, so... It'd be cool. I wouldn't mind seeing him. Pepsi Queen, who and on the Blind Wave crew would most likely turn into a super villain? Now, who do you think? You, of course. I'd be like the thinker. Something <laughs> awesome and smart and right. And I'd be uh, the wife that creates everything for you for all of it to work. Most likely to be a villain. <laughs> I mean, if I'm not counting Melanie, which it would totally be Melanie, then it would probably be Calvin. Yes, the quiet ones. I'd be Calvin. Calvin! Chicken noodle soup, what would you do if you saw one of your parents become a super villain or found out that one of your parents is a super villain at a young age? And how would you bring them back to the good side? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's one of those things that you can't unsee, you know? Like, if you were just there and you just see your dad become a bad guy? It's like seeing your parents naked, you know? It's like one of those things you just never unsee. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen my dad naked. Anyway. <laughs> Eric had a story once where he was pretty sure that he fell asleep in his parents' bed and his dad carried him back to his room with a giant boner. Because he was wanting to have sex with his mom and <laughs> he took Eric back and he get like... Probably, he's like, and he shared this on camera? And at some point, Are yeah. you allowed to share this on no, camera? No, he said this at some point on a video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> talk about me on a video. You but yeah. talk about other people's stories. We've said it before. I don't know where it was, but yeah, it's been said. Okay. I don't know what I would do. Um, Throw a snowball at her. Find a good guy to take him out. I don't know. You have them kill your own parents? That's not what I said. Take him out? Take him out how? Oh, take him out to Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> Where it all starts. Ain't nothing out there. Uh, tone. This is the last question. Do you think the encounter with Rain happened and is history to our Legion visitors? Hence Irma's she'll be okay whisper to Mono. <gasps> Yeah, I told you. If so, could they provide the DEO with info on Rain, or should they let events play out? I think they may be trying to avoid tampering with history. Um, I don't think Kara is in the future, which means that she probably died at some point in the last long time, however long it's been. What is it? What is 21st century to 31st century? Is that 100 years? Thousand. Or is that 1,000 years? Thousand. Okay, so we have 1,000 years. 
I don't you know Superman lives that long. I have no idea how long they live. Yeah. You know? Well, a they don't know how long years? they're going to live on Earth. They've never lived with the yellow sun. So, anyway, I'm going to say that they're just trying to not tamper with time since they got stuck in this time frame. Seems logical. Because you don't want to change the future too much, but if they worked it right, they maybe would change the future enough to where they don't have the issues they have in the future already, which would have mean that they never would have had to go on their trip, which means they would have never fallen into time, which would have never put them 1,200 or 12,000 years in the past, which means they would never have been there to mess with time. So just don't worry about it. I wonder if it. there's offspring of Kara in the future. Maybe. There may have been what offspring. What if Emra is the offspring of Kara? Maybe. Could be true. Anyway, um, anyway, sorry. That's all we have. We're gonna have to have a poll. Melanie, what's the poll? Does the Legion, Monel and Irma, what's her name? Emra, like Emrys, but it's the female version. So Monel and Irma. Um, Emra. Do... <laughs> You're gonna make me mad. <laughs> I'm gonna make you next episode. We have to do. But... All right, Irma's here. <laughs> and Irma. Um, anyway, uh, Enra and uh, Enra. M. Is her and Monel are they aware of Kara's fate? Do they know of the events currently going on in the timeline? Okay. So like are they are is it yes and they're trying not to interfere? Is it no, they don't really know what's going on? Or is it yes and they will interfere? No, I doubt that they would interfere, but I'm pretty sure it's yes they do. That's why Emra was so like firm and confident in her she'll be okay. Yeah, or is it just a Someone's dying. You just go. Don't worry. They're gonna be okay. And you I have no fucking idea. idea of what, you have no idea what's going on. You're just trying to comfort somebody. It easily could have been that. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. So we'll go with. We'll, we'll, I want to give three options to this. Either, either no, they don't know what's going on, so they don't have like information of this history right now. Two is that yes, they do know what's going on, but they're gonna they're choosing to not interfere with it as to not change the future or anything. And three is gonna be. Yes, they do know what's going on, and they're going to interfere. Like, if you think they're going to interfere in the future of it. Because so far, they haven't interfered. But if they do know something, will they interfere later? They're not going to interfere because Emra is her great-great-great-grandchild. Emra. Emra. All right. So, Melanie says they do know, and they're not going to interfere. I'm going to say they don't know. Wait. No, they do know, and they're going to interfere in the future. Like, they're going to interfere later and do stuff. I think Monel's going to help later. That's it. Guys, we're going to be gone for like four weeks. The next Supergirl episode happens in like a month. So make sure you guys tune back in for that. And uh, hopefully you guys all have a Merry Christmas. And Happy Holidays. Bye. And our poll, guys, is going to be listed over there on Patreon. Make sure you guys check it out. Happy if you haven't holidays. subscribed already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And Happy then uh, there's going to be some streams and stuff going on for our Extra Life stuff we're raising for the holidays. So make sure you guys go to twitch.tv slash blindwave. You can check out our Extra Life and everything else we do in there. Bye, guys. Text me Merry Christmas.